Hello my friends, I'm gonna do a gun review on the Bighorn Armory Model 89. I love this gun. And I'm gonna tell you the five things that I like about it and the five things that I don't. Okay, let's get started. First thing I like about this gun. This gun is chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson. This is an ultra powerful lever action rifle. I'm pretty sure this is the most powerful lever action rifle in production. If it's not the most powerful, then it's pretty darn close. This rifle can produce well over 4,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy, which is absolutely insane. I like that I have a nice solid uh, rifle that'll shoot the same heavy duty caliber as my Smith & Wesson 500 revolvers. Because this has a longer barrel than the uh, pistols, uh, it is able to uh, gain velocity. It shoots about a few hundred feet per second faster uh, than the pistol does. Number two thing I love about this gun is it is an absolutely beautiful cowboy looking gun. Um, nice, beautiful walnut furniture. Just absolutely impeccable. This design was based off of Jonathan Moses Browning's Winchester models 1886 and 1892. So same design, just a much bigger caliber. It's really nice to hold. I love the wood furniture. Love the feel of the wood in my hands. It's a very nice, uh, very nice comfortable gun to hold. Number three thing I like about this gun is it's really fun to shoot. It's got a nice stout kick to it. Um, it feels kind of like a shotgun, but a little bit different. It gives you that little uh, burst of uh, adrenaline every time you shoot it. it. Makes it very fun to shoot. It's not a really harsh kick like my 50 BMG pistol, and it's desirable. It's like, yeah, give me that. It's like, yeah, I like it. It's good. Give me some more. You know, it, whew, and the adrenaline. I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling zen after shooting this gun. Number four thing I love about this gun. This is a very rare gun. There's only one company that makes it. Bighorn Armory is the only company that makes a lever action uh, rifle uh, for Smith & Wesson 500. And they do a really good job at it. And so when I go to the gun range, nobody else has this. Nobody I know has this gun. This is an exceptionally rare gun that, in my opinion, if well kept, will only increase in value. So number five thing I like about this gun is the iron sight. It's got an aperture back sight, meaning that it's got the little hole. It's not the V shape, it's the hole shape. And then a very nice little white tipped uh, front sight. It makes it really easy to shoot this uh, accurately at a distance. Those are five things I love about this gun. Now I'm gonna tell you five things I hate about this gun. And yes, believe it or not, there are definitely five things I hate about this gun. The first thing I don't like about this gun is that it only holds seven rounds. The tube looks like it could hold more than seven rounds, but it only holds seven rounds. Second thing I don't like about this is the lever action. It's a little bit more smooth now, but when I first got it, it was getting stuck and just, it wasn't comfortable. I've probably cocked it about a thousand times since I got it. I actually called up Bighorn Armory and I told them I didn't like how it was sticky. And they told me, well, cock it a bunch of times, oil it some, and it'll eventually get there. And I think it is getting there. But I can see how somebody would get their gun and try cocking it a few times and immediately get the, you know, hole in their gut like, oh crap, what did I get? A piece of crap gun? Well. It's not a piece of crap gun. It just needs to, it needs to be broken in. I still think it could be smoother. Um, I, I think if they incorporated some more modern technology in this gun, it would be smoother. But um, I think they're trying to be purists and you know, keep it as as close to what uh, Jonathan Browning created instead of, you know, going off and uh, and and putting modern technology in it to make it a smoother cock. Number three thing I don't like about this is that after shooting nearly 300 rounds out of this. I started getting a bunch of light primer strikes on it and I'm like what's going on here um, so basically I would chamber around I'd shoot it I'd fire it and nothing and then I'd cock it I'd shoot it again and sometimes it'd shoot sometimes not and it, sometimes I'd have to go you know cock it five times before it would shoot anyway I ended up calling uh, Bighorn Armory again and they told me well 
after a couple hundred rounds, it's probably a little bit dirty. Go ahead and clean it and let us know if it works. And um, so far, I haven't put a lot of rounds through it, but so far, that seems to have done the trick. You know, it'd be nice if this gun just worked and I didn't have to um, do anything, but when you get a nice gun, sometimes you have to maintain it. Duh. You know what, I'm just, I guess maybe I've been baby, babied a little bit um, by Glocks and some of my other guns that I just don't have to clean, they just work right out of the box. They work just perfectly right out of the box. Um, but not all guns are like that. And so if you get this gun, you're gonna have to expect, you're gonna have to clean it to keep it working properly. Number four thing I don't like about this gun is the same thing I don't like the revolvers and that's that the rounds cost between four and five bucks a round. Smith & Wesson 500 cartridges are very expensive. Four dollars to five dollars a round to shoot this. It's pretty expensive to shoot. Now I said that I shot about 200 rounds through this. Most of those were reloads. So those are about a couple bucks a round. But learning how to properly reload a Smith & Wesson 500 I think is a little bit challenging. I've had some struggles with it. so. You know, there's a price to pay there too. The fifth thing I don't like about this gun is this little, I told you I like this, but then it, um, it came loose. Basically what it is, is it's a screw. So if I go this way, it unscrews it. If I go this way, it screws it. I can only go that far and it's tight, but that's the wrong direction for the aperture. So if I want to look through the aperture, it has to be like this. Now, I'm not worried about this because I've already called Bighorn Armory a couple times about this gun and they've been really good about educating me. I'm 100% confident that they'll, they'll help me get this uh, resolved. I just don't think that uh, if I spend as much money as I spent on this gun, I should have to have this issue after only 200 rounds. I think that the gun should be able to last a lot longer without having uh, issues with the sight uh, becoming loose. So I do want to say, yeah, there are five things that I don't like about this gun. But overall, this is a this gun speaks to my soul. It really does. This gun speaks to my soul. I love shooting this gun. Shooting this gun is an experience like no other. Now let's go have some fun and shoot this thing, okay? So now we're gonna try the 500 Smith and Wesson lever action against the frozen water. See how many we penetrate. Let's give it a shot. That was beautiful. Actually, that's the whole thing. Okay. So here's the round. It went through four bottles of water and the first two were only partially frozen. If they were solid frozen, it wouldn't have gone that far, but there you go. Okay, my friends, uh, we've got this target table set up. Uh, I'll show you, we've got the bricks. We've got a big rock, bricks. Metal target, the triple metal target, and uh, let's see how she does. Thank you. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, my friends, this is my number one best, favoritist, most awesome lever action rifle I've ever shot. 500 Smith & Wesson from Bighorn Armory. This rifle rocks. I absolutely love it. I will absolutely never get rid of this rifle. If it was legal to marry a rifle, I'd marry this one, let me tell you. I love this rifle. It rocks. So now I'm gonna shoot the rocks from a little bit further. I think it's about 80 feet away. I'm not feeling like shooting this really long distance right now because I haven't sighted it in. <laughs> I love shooting this gun. This is an incredible gun. And I look forward to shooting it for many years to come. I'd like to thank Bighorn Armory for building such an incredible gun. Thank you guys, you guys did a phenomenal job. I'm not getting paid to say this. I buy all my guns, nobody gives me anything. I waited two years for this gun wasn't really happy about waiting so long because I'm kind of an impatient person. I have to say it was worth the wait. This gun is a masterpiece. Thank you, Bighorn Armory. You did well.